Hello my friends, today I'm going to help you to make your first beat in FL Studio. Maybe you already did one but not happy with the results? It doesn't matter. If you're watching this video right now, it means you want to learn something about beat making. So I'm going to tell you everything about beat making process and I'm going to show you everything step by step. So let's dive into it. You can change the BPM of your project from this knob. Oh my god! Wow! And this is the metronome. This icon opens the playlist. In playlist we can arrange our music on a timeline. In the section on the left side we can select our patterns. In the middle we can see our samples if we have. In the right section we can see our automation clips. We can think of these sections as the shortcuts. We can select a pattern and drag to the playlist by clicking anywhere on playlist. You can click green magnet icon so you can change the time signature of playlist. This is the mixer. We have many mixer channels and you can send your sounds to these channels so you can add them effects if you want. You can change their gain level. You can also change their panning levels. As you can see, all these channels going only the mastering channel. And if you add any effect to master channel, it will affect every sound coming from all the other channels. But if you add something to channel 1, 2 or 10, doesn't matter which one, it will only affect its own channel. When we open the browser tab, we can see all the sample pack we added before. If you had no clue about how to add your sounds files to browser tab, you can watch my previous tutorial video about general settings of FL Studio. So you can preview the sounds by just clicking on it on browser tab. Channel rack is where we can write melodies and drums and make a pattern from them. As you can see, it's empty. But you can add VSTs by clicking on the plus icon. Or you can just drag your sounds to channel rack from your browser tab. Now we are ready to make a pattern. You can just drag the sounds you like and hi-hats too. You can add your 808. You can change the orders between them just like this. Just wherever you want. And we are just going to use our mouse to add notes. It's that simple. So you can press space to hear what you are writing now. We can add some snares to you. We can add more hi-hats to be more groovy, not being so boring. So let's add rolls on hi-hats. And for this, we can open piano roll. So that's cool enough, I think. We can write our bass melody with 808. We can change the time signature. We can preview the notes from the left side. You can click on the piano keys and you're gonna hear the notes. Yeah, like that. We can arrange the length and the size of the notes like that.
Yeah, that's cool. can delete the notes by right clicking on it and you can delete the VST that just right click on it and select delete now we need to send them to mixer channels so we can adjust their gain levels and maybe add them some effects we can do it by selecting all these and Press Ctrl L and that's all. Also, we can do that just manually from there. Just scroll down and, and that's all. We can right click on them and change their colors and names. We set them to separate mixer channels. That's great. We can do some adjustment on gain levels. You can move the knobs like that. As you can hear, we have a problem. Our kick and the 808 share the same area. We need to solve this problem with side chaining. So let's move on. Click on kick channel. After that, we are going to A2A channel. On the bottom, you can see the arrow. Just click on that and select side chain to this track option. Now we are selecting our A2A channel. We're going to add limiter. Open the limiter and select the compressor. Side chain one selected. And now lower the threshold to a little bit and a little bit more. So we choosing 3.1 is enough for us now. We're going to lower the release time, so when the kick is over, the 808 can rise again. So basically we done. Now the beat sounds more clear than before. Now we can add our pattern to playlist. As you can see all the sounds stay together in one pattern. But we can separate them easily. We can give a new pattern to every sounds we made before. So click on that and select Split by Channel. That's all. We have separate patterns for each one of them. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We can auto name the track so we can see them clear in the future. Now we can select all them with Ctrl and left click. And if we press Ctrl B, we can copy them side by side. 
we can cut the patterns with this tool. Press Ctrl Z for going back. You can mute the patterns with this tool. You can preview and listen the patterns and samples with this tool. Let's think that we found a good sample and we want to use it on our project as we did before. We drag it to our playlist, but it doesn't match the BPM of our project. So what we can do without damaging the sound of the sample? It's so simple. First, double click on the sample and you can see the BPM of the sample is 150, but our project is 140. We're going to change the time now till it gets to sample's original BPM, which is 150. After that, as you can see, it fits perfectly. But just don't forget to change the mode to E3 January. So that's all. You can do this method to every sample you found. If we hadn't done this, the beautiful sample was going to hurt us like that. So we can move on with adding time markers on our playlist. We can click the arrow and select add time markers. Let's say intro. And you can move it like that to place anywhere you want. Also, you can add your sample to playlist from there as I said before. You can add markers from there now. We can say it worse. For this we can say bridge. Or anything you want. Let's think that your drum and melodies are done. But you want to make a transitions. For example, we can add something to galvanize the intro part. Just click on the sample and make it unique. Now we have created the independent copy. We can rename it like a intro sample and send it to mixer channel. We can do it with Ctrl L again. Let's do some quick adjustment and that's okay. We can play with the pitch values to add some variation. And that's wonderful. We can add some automation clips for gain level of the intro. We can name them and make a group so we can see them clearly. So you can just click the knobs and you can try what you want to hear. I want to start the sound lower and rising in a time. So let's give a chance. Yeah, that's good. Good for now. But what we can add more, maybe like we can add risers and crashes for intro part. 
we can drag them to our playlist from browser tab as always as you can see it's not on the grid but you can change the time signature on the magnet icon or you can press ctrl q for shortcut I want to start to stop there. We need to adjust the volume levels. Still so loud. That's okay. We can add some effects for intro like some reverbs maybe actually i can also automate the reverb yeah let's do that we want more reverb at the beginning and maybe fade away at the end now we open the reverb and we're going to rise up to wet level yeah it sounds good so we're going to create our automation clip for this reverb and just right click this knob and create automation clip yeah we're going to arrange the level yeah that's beautiful and that's all so how we are going to create a drum bus we need a drum bus because we want to control all the drum elements and on the same channel so we can add our effects more easily you can hold control and select all the drums in after that you can click the arrow sign and select to root this track only so basically you made it you have a drum bus and you can rename it and don't forget to rearrange your sidechain You can also move the channels by holding ALT key and pressing arrows on your keyboards. We can separate the channels like that. And that's all. Yeah. Finally my friends, after all that we are ready to move on to the next part which is we are going to learn how to do basic mixing for our beats and musics and in the mixing video i am going to use only the stock plugins and the free ones i can find and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you tell me your thoughts in the comments i will be so happy to hear them as always i wish you the best and see you next time <music>